Hello guys, it's Dale here. Today I'll do an analysis of gold. But before I start talking about the trading idea that I have here, I'd like to invite you to a free webinar that will take place this Thursday. And the topic of the webinar will be price action trading. So I'll be looking forward to seeing you at the webinar. I'll put a link below this video on YouTube in the description. And using that link, you can register your seat on the webinar there. All right. So I'm looking forward to seeing you at the webinar and let's now have a look at the chart of gold. What you see before you is a 30 minute chart of gold futures. This is the ticker for gold futures. And what I want to talk about here is this significant volume cluster that got formed within this strong downtrend. This volume cluster is telling us that strong sellers who are pushing the price downwards on gold were adding to their short positions quite massively in here. And as you can see, those volumes were accumulated in this little rotation. And from there, really aggressive selling activity started. So this is a sign that aggressive sellers were building up or adding to their short positions in here and then they continued to push the price even lower. This is telling us that this should work as a strong resistance, which is at 1916, right? The beginning of the heavy volume zone. When the price makes it back to this zone again, then the sellers from this place are likely to defend this area and they're likely to push the price downwards from there again. This is a setup which I call the trend setup. And I call it the trend setup because uh, I use it when there's a trend, like in this case, right? So that's the trend setup on gold based on this volume cluster. Now there's also one additional thing. And the thing is the first deviation of a VWAP. VWAP is this yellow line you see there. And those gray lines are deviations and those deviations are supposed to work as supports and resistance zones. How I like to trade them is as a combo with volume profile setups. So the first deviation of a VWAP needs to align with place where heavy volumes were traded. Like in here, right? There was this significant volume cluster and right there, this is the first deviation of VWAP, very close to that level we have here. Now the VWAP and the first deviations are moving, right? As the price and volumes develop, the VWAP and first deviations will be moving. But if at the time of the pullback, the first deviation of the VWAP stays somewhere around the area of the level, then it will be very nice confluence of the volume profile setup and also the VWAP setup, all right? So that would make the resistance even stronger. So yeah, that's what I expect to happen on gold. When there is a pullback, I'll be trading a short reaction from there. So that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget, register your seat for the webinar using the link below in the video description. And I'll be looking forward to seeing you next time in some next video or at the webinar. And until then, happy trading.